Hello and welcome to Retro Breeze. It's finally here, my guide for Neo Geo on the Miu Mini. Just playing Neo Geo is very easy on the Miu Mini, but it goes a lot further than that. We'll start this guide by setting up everything you need to get Neo Geo games running, then we'll explore what the Neo Geo actually was, the difference between MVS and AES modes, and how to change various options using a special BIOS called UniBIOS. Alright, let's begin. First, enable Neo Geo in the Onion Installer. Go to Apps, then the Onion Installer, enable SNK Neo Geo in the list, then press Start to return to the main menu. You can now power off your Miu Mini. By the way, Onion OS uses the Final Burn Alpha 2012 Neo Geo core. It's a little outdated, but it works just fine. Now we need to source the Neo Geo BIOS. As usual, I can't show you where to get it, but you're looking for a file named neogeo.zip. You can usually find the file within ROM set collections on archival websites. It's really not hard to find, you shouldn't have any trouble at all. Once you have a neogeo.zip, copy it into the BIOS folder on your Miu Mini's SD card. Also, copy the file once again into the ROMs slash neogeo folder, along with your games. Apparently this can improve compatibility. Now, we're all ready to find and play some Neo Geo games. Before that though, a little diversion which should clear up the various ROM sets available in case you're unsure. SNK originally released a system called MVS, the multi-video system, which was essentially a cartridge-based arcade machine, wherein a single machine could swap out up to six cartridges to load in new games. SNK arcade games were extremely popular, so SNK released a home console version known as the AES, or Advanced Entertainment System. Actually, the AES AES was only available to rent from video stores in Japan, and was also known as the Neo Geo rental system. However, the AES was so popular that SNK eventually released it as a luxury games console for the home, called the Neo Geo, which launched for a positively mental $649.99 US dollars, which adjusted for inflation in about 2021 would be around $1300 US dollars. Anyway, all of this is to say that there are generally two different types of Neo Geo ROMs available, MVS and AES. You may find collections for either looking around on archival websites or elsewhere. Thankfully, it doesn't really matter which you get because the games themselves are more or less identical other than very minor changes between the two versions. Though, there are some games that didn't launch on the AES system. Personally, I would look for a complete MVS ROM set. This will more than likely give you the most compatible games. The games you get should come in a collection of .zip files. Just go ahead and copy them over to the Neo Geo folder on your SD card. If that folder doesn't exist, just make it. Alright, back on the Miu Mini, refresh your ROMs, and go into the Neo Geo system, and they should all appear. Your game should now launch without any trouble. Actually, it can take a minute or so with some games, and you get this weird green flashing screen, but don't worry about that. The Neo Geo control pad uses a four button layout, but it's arranged differently than the Miu Mini. The Mini's B button is the Neo Geo's A button. The Mini's A is the Neo Geo is B, Y is C, and X is D. You can add coins with the select or the R1 button. As you can see, the game works just fine, and it's currently working on MVS mode, that is, the arcade version of the game. If the arcade experience is what you want, you can pretty much just stop here. You're good to go. However, you'll also want to check out AES mode, wherein the games work a little bit more like standard video games, with more options, alternative game modes, and more. In-game, press function and select at the same time to bring up the RetroArch menu. Then go to options, select Neo Geo mode, and change it to UniBIOS. Go back, select overrides and select save core overrides. This will activate UniBIOS on all of your Neo Geo games, which is good even if you're sticking with MVS mode. Now, re-enter the game. When you see this universe BIOS screen, press Y, A, and B at the same time to bring up the UniBIOS menu. Here, use the Mini's B button to enter the region setup. You can now see the available options and corresponding buttons at the bottom. Select your region choice, Europe for me, then select console-aes. Press Y to exit and your game will restart in console-aes mode. Here's King of Fighters 97. In AES mode, there are many extra options and modes you won't find in MVS mode. You also don't need to insert virtual coins. You'll want to enter the BIOS and set the mode for each game you want to use the AES mode. There are settings in the RetroArch options to set the whole system to AES, but I couldn't get it to work, so drop me a comment below if you figure that out. Use the same method of entering the UniBIOS and set it back to MVS mode if you want to. Alright, you thought I was done, but no. I'm going to show you how to use cheats. In-game with the UniBIOS enabled, simply press Start and Select at the same time. Select Cheats Database and toggle on the cheats that you want. The list can scroll down further as well sometimes. Press C, which is the Y button, to return to the game and enjoy annihilating your enemies like this. And actually that about sums it up for this video. I hope it helps you play some of these very impressive Neo Geo titles in both their arcade and home console mode.
modes. For the time, some of these games are super impressive. This game, Crossed Swords, is basically a retro arcade Skyrim and it is just awesome, I'm kind of addicted to it. Polestar is like an R-type clone, but the 2D graphics are really immersive and kind of look 3D at times. And then of course there's all your classic Metal Slug run and guns and fighting games like King of Fighters and Fatal Fury as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful or both, please consider subscribing to my channel and also leaving a like and a comment. What Neo Geo games are you looking forward to playing? Let me know in the comments. Also, a big shout out to Leon Boy, who was my first donator on Coffee. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Alright, this was Shem from Retrobreeze, and I will see you next time.